The rumors can finally be put to rest. The DJI Avatar 360 is real, and it's officially coming. After months of will they, won't they, this groundbreaking drone has been confirmed as one of the last DJI products to make the cut for the US market. In a move that felt like a high-stakes spy thriller, DJI rushed the Avatar 360 through FCC certification in late 2025, securing its spot just days before the December 22nd regulatory bombshell that threatened to lock out new Chinese drone technology. With that legal hurdle cleared, the excitement in the FPV community has reached a fever pitch. We aren't just looking at a minor refresh. We're looking at a complete reimagining of what a Sinhoop can do. A fresh leak for the DJI Avatar 360 has shown up online. This will be DJI's first 360-degree camera drone, expected in the very near future. And it points to an advantage that the flying machine may have over its anti-gravity A1 rival from Insta360. The leak is courtesy of seasoned tipster at Quadro News and shows a couple of unofficial pictures of the DJI Avatar 360, together with a selection of accessories. We can see the standard DJI RC controller, for example. There is a shot of the DJI RC showing live footage from the drone, which suggests it's going to come with a single lens mode. In other words, you'll be able to use just one of the lenses to shoot standard, non-360 degree photos and videos. This trick will seemingly come courtesy of a rotating camera unit. Upward and downward facing lenses will capture 360 degree videos and it looks like the unit itself will rotate 90 degrees to front face one of those lenses for single lens video. That's something the anti-gravity A1 doesn't have. Its lenses are fixed and it can only shoot in 360 degrees. If you're trying to make a decision between these two drones, then that's worth considering. Though of course nothing is confirmed about the DJI Avatar 360 yet. The Avatar 360 being part of DJI's FPV drone family could also mean that its flying speeds and aerial maneuvers trump those of the somewhat pedestrian anti-gravity A1. At the heart of the Avatar 360 are dual 1.1-inch CMUS sensors, which are significantly larger than what we usually see in the FPV world. By borrowing tech from the recent Osmo 360 action camera, DJI is promising image quality that can actually hold its own in low light. Most 360 drones struggle when the sun goes down because their tiny sensors get noisy, but the Avatar 360 looks set to change that. Because the sensors are so large, the level of detail captured in every direction is expected to be incredibly crisp, making it a dream for professional real estate tours or high-end travel vlogging, where you want to reframe the shot later without losing quality. When it comes to the actual footage, 8K is the number everyone is buzzing about. The leaked specs suggest the Avatar 360 will record 8K spherical video at 50 frames per second. While 8K might sound like overkill, it's actually essential for 360 drones because when you crop into a 360 video to make a normal flat video, you lose a lot of pixels. Starting with 8K ensures your final invisible drone shot still looks like high definition 4K. For those who want to use it as a traditional FPV rig, switching to the single lens mode will reportedly unlock 4K at 120 frames per second, perfect for those buttery smooth slow motion bando dives or high speed chases where every frame matters. One of the biggest complaints about the previous Avatar models was that the fun ended too quickly. Well, DJI has heard the feedback. The Avatar 360 is confirmed to use a new 38.67 watt-hour battery, which is about 26% larger than the one found in the Avatar 2. Thanks to more efficient motors and a slightly more aerodynamic frame design, beta testers are reporting real-world flight times of 25 to 28 minutes. In the world of FPV, where 10 to 15 minutes is usually the gold standard, Having nearly half an hour in the air is a game changer. 
It means you can actually take the time to set up a complex 360-degree shot without constantly looking at your battery percentage in a panic. The physical look of the drone has seen a total overhaul to accommodate the 360-degree view. To make the drone invisible in the final footage, the camera lenses need a clear view of everything above and below the craft. Leaks show a much slimmer, more centralized body with a unique spherical prop guard system. Instead of the thick plastic ducts we saw on the Avatar 2, the 360 version uses a lightweight carbon and TPU cage. This not only protects the props but is designed to be stitched out by the software. It's a tank that flies like a feather, weighing in at roughly 377 grams to 385 grams depending on the configuration. Since you'll often be flying this drone while focusing on the invisible camera angles rather than the flight path, DJI has packed it with more sensors than any FPV drone in history. We're talking about an advanced LiDAR plus vision array. It features four front-facing sensors and two side-facing sensors, giving it near omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. This is a huge deal for beginners. If you're flying through a forest and get too close to a branch, the LiDAR system should be able to see the thin twigs that standard cameras might miss and stop the drone before it crashes. It's essentially a safety net for your $1,000 investment. For the pilots who love the cockpit feel, the Avatar 360 will fully support the DJI 04, or 04 Plus, transmission system. This means you'll get a crystal clear 1080p slash 120 FPS live feed in your goggles with almost zero lag. The range is rumored to be as high as 20 kilometers in ideal conditions, though you'll likely never need to fly that far. It's also confirmed to be compatible with the DJI Goggles N3, the RC Motion 3, and the standard RC2 controller. Whether you like the point and fly simplicity of the motion controller or the precision of traditional sticks, DJI is making sure everyone is covered. The most surprising part of the recent leaks is the price. Despite being a pro-level tool, DJI seems to be keeping things competitive to fight off Insta360. Leaked retail tables from China suggest the drone-only package will start around 425 US dollars, while the full-fly more combo which includes the goggles and extra batteries, is expected to sit right around 999 US dollars. While US prices are often a bit higher due to import costs, this puts it in direct competition with high-end action cameras. As for the launch, with the FCC paperwork finished and retail boxes appearing in the wild, an official announcement is expected in February or March 2026.